Welcome to Unique People Stories. Horrible Bosses. My first boss managed a gas station. He was good in most ways, efficient. Fair. Disciplined. Ran a tight ship. Just one drawback. He was racist. I don't mean that he was insufficiently outraged by Dukes of Hazard reruns. I mean that he used the N-word often and loudly. He resurrected other racist words that would have sent Bull Connor running for a thesaurus. The truck driver who delivered our tankers of fuel every week was a black man. And they almost came to blows over this. His comeuppance finally came when the corporate office hired a new third-level supervisor who was a young black man out of business school. That boss just could not take orders from a black man. When he quit, he trashed the office and tore up every floppy disk in the office so we couldn't do our accounting for a few days. I used to work at Walmart and I had three people I had regular contact with that were in a higher position and were technically my boss. I've always said that it was the worst place I've ever worked. Because of how thoroughly they want to fuck their employees out of what they work for. I was hired as a temporary employee that they said I would be able to become a full-time employee once I got past six months. I worked third shift and spent my entire night stocking the grocery aisles. It was 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. minus a half hour for lunch and two unpaid 15-minute breaks so I got a eight-hour schedule. Half the time after my shift my supervisor would come to me and go hey we don't have any cart guys scheduled to come in soon. Mind going out and getting every cart from the parking lot and bring it up to the return. Of course I say yes because it's not really a question so much as a did this or do it after an argument. If you've ever seen those lots they aren't small. And I didn't get to use the little machine that lets you push 50 carts at a time. I had to settle for 10 to 20 that threatened to ram any cars parked in my way. Doing this took me about an hour to do. Then once pay time came around my supervisor would come up and say hey I noticed you're going to be in overtime soon. I need you to take an extra 30 minutes on your lunch. Or hey come in an hour later tonight so you don't get overtime. I had to carpool with my mom since we both worked there and she already came at 9 for work. Half the time they'd tell me just to clock in any way and double my lunch again. Even when the store was cleared to pay out overtime my manager was given actual bonuses that he would get for denying overtime to the employees. Even around Black Friday and Christmas. We got minimum wage and he was a salary position who came in for an hour at the beginning of first shift and another at the end of it. Then finally. Around Christmas they had me scheduled off and I had told my supervisors how glad I was because my brother, sister-in-law and niece were in town and we were going to get dinner and see a movie. I didn't have my phone and the next day when I came to work I got fussed at for not coming in because they decided they needed me to work last minute. Even when they stated that during holidays they wouldn't do last minute changes so as not to inconvenience us with our families. Oh and once the six months were up they laid me off because tax season was coming around and if they kept the temps they would have to pay more. When it was over they offered another temporary position with the promise of full time after six months. My supervisor at this non-profit was maybe a couple years older than me. And for the six months I worked there. Never bothered to set me up with my own computer. I'd work in the mornings and she tended to show up around lunchtime. So she told me I could use hers. Which was pretty annoying in and of itself. But more often than not she'd come in about an hour before I was scheduled to leave. And stand over me. Eating her lunch. As I worked at her desk. I'd say things like. Oh I'll go find somewhere else to work and she'd say no no you're fine. And continue to stand over me as I sat at her desk. She was also the director of marketing. And for about two weeks she had me walk around the city and put up flyers in various cafes, buildings for this class we were hosting. Two weeks later she's frustrated that no one signed up. As the director of marketing. You should have some sort of better strategy than putting up flyers in coffee shops. I walked into an off-the-rack suit store. Resume in hand. And talked to the store's assistant manager. The guy's a couple of years older than me and looks like the kind of guy that would sell you timeshare in Florida. All fake tans and bad hair. He hires me on the spot. Though. So he instantly becomes my new best friend. Turns out. The manager of the store is on vacation in his native Jordan. But he'll be back at the end of the week. Cool. 
The job itself is pretty laid back. We spend a lot of time folding clothes. And even more time slacking off behind the till waiting for people to come in and buy shitty suits. I'm pretty good at selling things and even better at slacking off. So things seem peachy for that first week. The assistant manager is going to be going camping at the end of the week. But it'll be cool because the real manager was coming back the day before. Except. Jordan revolts. And the first thing the revolutionaries do is take the airfields. So he's stuck in Jordan. I try to convince the assistant manager to stick around for the weekend. Given that I have less than a week of experience and no training. He decides to give me a key and go camping anyway. So with less than a week of experience, I'm now the de facto manager of the shop. On Saturday, the vice president of operations comes in from across the country to see how the shop is doing. He is not happy. He is not happy at all. The assistant manager is fired. I'm given his responsibilities and a very brief rundown of what my new job is. While the VPO is storming around the store trying to make it presentable. Barking orders and being, understandably. I think, very grumpy about stuff. My new day was to come in at 7.30 in the morning to prepare to be open by 8. If we were open 5 minutes late. We accrued a $500 fine from the mall. So there was no wiggle room. I was the only person on staff able to come in that early there were only 3 people on the staff that weren't in Jordan. I was also the only person who could reliably close. So I started working 14-hour days. Every day. For a little over a month. Doing a job I was unprepared. Untrained and underqualified for. To be fair. The guys at HQ were great. They offered a lot of support that actually got the store through the roughest patches. Walking me through payroll management and scheduling. Helping me do orders and calmly getting me through merchandising and display making. That month was one of the hardest I've ever worked not just the long hours. But constantly trying to keep up with stuff I wasn't prepared to do. But the HQ guys made it as easy as they could on me. Then the manager got back from Jordan. And he was pissed. Nothing was like how he left it. Displays were kind of a disaster. His assistant manager had been fired in his absence. The guys from HQ were giving him all sorts of shit for letting his store get that out of whack in the first place. His job was much harder than it would have been if he'd come home on time. And he decided the best way to deal with that was to take it out on me. He snapped at me. He berated me in front of the other employees. He made it very clear that the state of the store was my fault and that I had screwed everything up. He bitched about me to the HQ guys. For a full week after he came back. I was working the same schedule I'd been working while he was in Jordan and now I was getting shit on the entire time. So I quit. The guys from HQ were unhappy with that choice. And made the manager call me at home and ask me to come back. So I went in to discuss the terms of my return. And it was pretty clear the manager wanted nothing to do with me. Offering exactly nothing above the same entry-level position I'd been hired for originally. No pay raise. No promotion. No acknowledgement. Even the guy never even thanked me for keeping his store from collapsing. Just $10 an hour to continue being his butt monkey. I went to work at a comic shop after that. My story is pretty tame. I work at a museum. The board president basically cussed me out on the phone before a big seasonal event. Saying that she heard from other people that I was not giving 100% dedication to my job. That I needed to step my game up or face some serious consequences. Everyone was pretty stressed due to the event and I was pretty pissed. I emailed her after the conversation. Because it came completely out of left field. I had never had anyone complain about how I did my job. Tourists. The executive director my direct boss. Or even the president and the rest of the executive board. No one had complained before. So I asked her who it was that had a problem. Turns out. No one had said a word to her about the job I was doing. She hadn't heard from anyone. She just listed a bunch of her own grievances about what I was doing wearing a costume to work on Halloween. Not labeling some artifacts she had brought in that had zero historical value. Keeping my bike out of sight in the office. Trivial stuff. I told her that she could just tell me that she was unhappy with these things as they happened. 
especially seeing as I was never told not to do these things. Rather than cuss me out on the phone months later. I lost a lot of respect for her that day. But I was still employed. So I counted my blessings. Also. I found out that the executive director and the president were paying me $1.25 per hour less than they originally agreed to. When I first got the job two years ago. They gave me a job description with the original pay listed on it. Naively. I didn't make a copy of it. When I started the job. My paycheck was much less than I thought it would be. And I was given another job description with the lower pay on it. I didn't make a fuss. Because I was hard up for money. And I needed the job. Plus. The museum was kinda doing some shady stuff. Additionally. I was an idiot who had no backbone at the time. Anyway. Some stuff went down earlier this year. My boss and the entire executive board stepped down from their positions. And I found my original job description with the original pay. Needless to say. I'm now getting paid what I was supposed to. Plus back pay. Working here used to be a nightmare. But the new executive board is pretty nice. Did you have a horrible boss? Let us know in the comments.